What's going on, my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today. <clears throat> Very not excited to be here with this guy's deck today. But guys, if you hadn't heard quite yet, there was recently, in the last balancing changes, what the heck is happening? What can you do? What could you possibly have done? It's only level 7. There's no talents on it. Co opponent's unit in PvP enchants the ally's unit. The cursed unit heals monsters with its attacks. How long does it last? This is not at all the video I was planning on making. But with it hitting my Inquisitor, what could I have done? I am at a loss for words. Which is crazy stupid. That was the first time I've ever played against Witch. I don't have her. I wish. I wish. That was absolutely bonkers guys absolutely bonkers not at all what i was making this video about let's jump back in holy smokes what the heck could i have possibly done maybe i'm gonna watch that back and absolutely see but guys what i wanted to do today is try out inquisitor because it actually got a mini buff in the last update okay so we're gonna be going for the one inquisitor uh, gameplay and I'm very very excited but guys if you are enjoying this video make sure that you are subscribed to the channel like the video like the video as well as share the video to you and your friends and everybody I guess you can't share it to yourself but if you could maybe you could try uh, but yeah that's what we're gonna be doing today is showing off Inquisitor we're gonna put which as far away from our mind as possible so was it just the luck of the draw that it hit my Inquisitor because that was very, very strange. Because A, Shaman hit my Inquisitor. But I leveled up it, leveled my Inquisitor up with a Dryad. So it should have gone from a rank 2 to a rank 1 very quickly. But it stayed at a rank 2. But because I guess it also got hit by the Witch at the same time. Or maybe that was a Witch and not a Shaman. Maybe that's what I saw. It wasn't a Shaman, it was a Witch. That must have been it, right? Um, it was just healing everything. So we were doing 0 damage. We were doing negative damage. But we only have Inquisitor in this deck, so how else am I supposed to kill stuff? That That is absolutely bonkers. But uh, but okay, we're going to continue on from here. And yeah, I want to see how Inquisitor does. We can look back after this game and just see what the actual buff was. It wasn't anything like too, too significant. But uh, hopefully enough for it to work. So let's try. let's just try and get an Inquisitor on a square. Um, I'm just gonna do that. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, I'll just do that. Is that silly? I'm really just trying to get it on a square, but maybe that's just not worthwhile to do at all. We're playing this super bad. Uh, but uh, I just want an Inquisitor there, and then I'm gonna eat everything else because there we go. Because really. I just don't really care about any of this stuff. So we got a leveled up guy right there. We'll take out this Gorgon first. And uh, and then we'll kind of go from there. And it should be absolutely fine. So we'll keep that guy. We're going to eat this 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 guy. And we're going to eat that guy. Now we're digging for a singular Dryad. So that we can start leveling this guy. Because now we only have a rank 1. He's probably thanking his lucky star that I'm trying to do it this way. And, uh, and yeah, you're not wrong, uh... Well, I don't think I can pronounce that name. Uh, some names I try. That name I will not even try because what 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 could I possibly do? 
Uh, but so far, so good. We already have a rank two. Rank three on a square next to a rank three on a, whatchamacallit, on a knight statue or whatever. Uh, so that's absolutely fine. If we level up this guy, uh, perfect. We can start leveling up that even more. We've got trainer in here, not bombardier. Notice we don't have bombardier in here, but we do have trainer to hopefully, uh, you know, kind of do that same role and help us take out those bosses where we don't need as much of a unit in there. Uh, but we can just focus on that Inquisitor. Honestly, I'm going to do that because they're both on that uh, knight statue right there. So I feel like that's a little bit more worthwhile. That way, if one gets leveled up more than the other, it's still benefiting us rather than having that other one just kind of there randomly. And kind of similarly, we're going to do that if we do get a chemist on a knight statue I'll probably eat this guy and level up that chemist a few times just because we don't... Just because the knight statue will buff that attack speed also and damage and, you know, whatever. It probably doesn't do a whole lot, but if it's doing anything, it's worthwhile to me. So, not too shabby. But we're also going up against a guy, I was going to say the cultist deck, but it's not the cultist deck. Okay, it's not. He's got... He's got, um... Trapper in there instead of chemist or instead of bombardier or instead of scrapper or you name it, you know um, Which makes me feel a little bit better. I love trapper as a card It's just not as strong as chemist or bombardier and I think chemist is probably the best um, The best option for that deck So not too worried right here. I could probably combine some dryads. I might as well do that right there and that way, if we do get it with a Scrapper, let's just do that, we can actually level it up pretty soon. We now have two. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. We're kind of getting close. We, we could definitely level up the Chemist. Maybe I should just not worry about the Chemist getting upgraded because, you know, whatever. But at the same time, I want it to get upgraded. Okay, we're going to do that. If we get this guy upgraded, that'd be fine. We got another Dryad. We got Dryads galore. Let's actually max out our uh, Knight statue just to really get that buff. And we're, we already have a level tw uh, 12. Well, it is a level 12 Inquisitor. But a level 5 Inquisitor on that square, which is really fantastic. And, uh, and that's going to bode pretty well for us. I guess we'll just do this. This. I mean, let's see if one of these guys gets leveled up here. Um... Okay, beautiful. Uh, we could get... Oof. We, we might as well just leave that rank 4 Dryad and maybe he gets hit again. And we... With it being Tamer, we don't really care. But now now it might be a little bit different. Okay, another Tamer. So no, we still don't care. We still absolutely do not care. We can drop our Trainer whenever we want, but it shouldn't really matter. I know that my Chemist is lacking. But uh, we'll work on that eventually. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll do that. We got three, so 40 seconds. Let's just level up our chemist now. Drop our trainer. Level up our chemist mana level as well. And uh, and we can keep on going from here. I might even just eat. Th Let's do that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'll eat this. We don't really care so much about those dryads anymore. So we can just start eating those dryads wherever we get a chance. Let's max out our chemist because I feel bad. And yeah, I could get this guy to three. I think it would be more useful to get one of these guys up and then uh, upgrade another one. So that, that guy's a max now, which is just absolutely perfect. He's got two Ts, which is great for him. Another Tamer I'm not worried about. We're killing things super, super fast. We're killing things still faster than him. So that, realistically, that's kind of all I care about. Another Gorgon. Gorgon could be a little bit hairy, depending on how high a level or how much health it's going to have. Uh, so let's actually do that right now. Just to get a little extra boost on that. Drop our trainer here to help out with all this madness. Look at that just swarm of damage. We're just doing damage left and right all over. We got a rank 5 chemist there, which is absolutely beautiful. We got another banner lord that we got to go through. But Bombardier, or not Bombardier, Gorgon's actually going to make me a little bit nervous. Never mind, we are cruising through this Bannerlord. I'm not worried about this Bannerlord whatsoever. We got a rank 5 right there. We're absolutely going to put that on the Knight Statue. We're going to eat that guy. We're going through a Vortex. And I think that's going to be the last um, boss for this wave. 
No, it's not. There's a banner lord, so it's still kind of sketchy. But we are going to have trainer... Four seconds. We're cruising through. He took a hit. He doesn't have anything else. We were going to kill that banner lord as well, but let's hit him with a good game. Inquisitor. Still pretty good. And very, very strong after the buff, which let's just take a quick peek at exactly what the buff was. Just so we know what we're talking about here. So there's the witch. Oh my god. The witch is just crazy. Here it is. Over the past few updates, we've noticed that there's been a drop in the popularity of the Inquisitor, which is one of their favorite cards. They love Inquisitor, so they don't want that drop. Uh, in response to this, we've decided to give the Inquisitor a slight buff by simplifying their damage set. We hope that uh, this change will add the Inquisitor's popularity points. Add to the Qu Inquisitor's popularity points. It now takes 23% less attacks to achieve the maximum damage boost whatever the heck that means let's jump into one more game here guys and if you want to catch me live i do live stream we live stream exclusively on twitch we live stream on fridays as well as sundays fridays at 11 a.m eastern standard time and sundays at 4 p.m east 4 p.m eastern standard time we'd absolutely love to have you guys stop on by you can play with me you can challenge me you can play against me you can play in a dungeons if you need help with a floor on dungeons beating a floor on dungeons either i can try and help you out right now i'd probably play demon hunter it's absolutely wild but uh, inquisitor is a really great option too at this point or somebody in stream can help you out who probably has a better looking account than me anyways take your pick we got tribunal right off the bat this guy's running an interesting double triple slow deck uh, th uh, not thrower. Uh, pretzel thrower. What the heck is his actual name? I, I want to keep calling it Tamer. It's something like that. Pretzel thrower, Frost, Bombardier. Those are three slows. And he's got Trainer in there. Kind of another slow. Chemist and Bruiser. So his only damage is Bruiser. Uh, and everything else is just kind of a smorgasbord of units. So kind of cool. Interested to see how this guy does. And, uh, and after Trainer, or after Tribunal, I should say, we'll start making our board look the way we want. Because we only got the one Inquisitor, but we only want the one Inquisitor. He doesn't, he didn't know that. He doesn't know that. He's, he thinks I'm going to go for four at some point. No, sir, re. We're going to stay at one. And, we, and we're also going to check how long. So 40-ish seconds is where we dropped our Trainer. I want to check how long it takes us to get back to it. So 40-ish seconds. Let's try and keep an eye on it. And, uh, and hopefully we don't have to do anything else on this board. I'm just going to chill with the one Inquisitor. And realistically, I don't have anything else I can do. I can spam a little bit and try to find a Dryad to level it up. But I think we should be fine with just the one. Which is one of the reasons that I absolutely love Inquisitor. Because you can only do this with one card, really. If you get a Demon Hunter and you level it up, you could absolutely hang out with just the one. But with a level one Demon Hunter, one level one Demon Hunter, you can't do this. A level one, one Inquisitor... You tell me. We did it. So 40 seconds is not enough time for me to get back to my... Oh, let's do this. Hey. So let's spam a little bit. Drop our trainer. All right. So we can do this. Uh, we can do this. We can go... Oh, we don't have a scrapper yet. There's a scrapper. All right. So we can do that. We can do that. We can do this. We can do that. We can do this. I'm going to eat that guy. Scrapper, scrapper, this. Uh, this guy. Let's. All we got to do now is get him on an inqui on a uh, knight statue. Beautiful. We'll eat that right there. And, uh, and pretty much we're just sitting pretty for the rest of the game. We got a rank four on a square on a knight statue. And, uh, and this is pretty much what our board's going to look like. We're actually going to do that because they're now they're both on inquisitors. Or both on knight statues, I should say. And, uh, and we're just going to continue on through here. Level up that Dryad right there is fine. Do this. A Chemist. Okay, we can keep the Chemist for now. Let's level up a couple of our units. 50 seconds. So let's drop the thing at 50 seconds and see if that's going to do the trick. But this is going to be a very interesting game. It's straight up damage versus just straight up slow. So that always makes for, for a little bit of a fun video, a little bit of a fun matchup. And, uh, and I'm really liking what our board is looking like right now. And with all these random dryads, I think we'll get this guy leveled up pretty quickly. All we need to do is get one more dryad or hit this guy with a scrapper one time. And we've got a, we've got a rank 5 uh, Inquisitor, which is 
feel like a, a rank five is far superior to a rank four. You know, it's one of those jumps that I think makes a really big difference, but we won't really notice until later on because Bruiser is very, very good in the first few waves. So it's kind of hard to tell. All right, so we're going to have that chemist over there for the long haul, which is fine. So 50 seconds, we can actually get back to it. So good to know. We'll drop it right now. Why not? Not super impressive of, uh, of taking out that Gorgon, but yeah, I think that's because early on Bruiser does pretty good damage. It's going to fall off the map relatively shortly after that. Uh, we do have Assassin coming up next, but let's just keep doing our thing. We don't really care that Chemist is over here. If that keeps getting leveled up, so be it. But uh, all we need is one more Dryad to get this, this guy to five or a couple of uh, lucky Scrappers to get, to get him to five and continue from there. So we'll just do this right, right quick. And now that I think about it, after this, why don't we start working on our knight statues? We can start working on our knight statues here. We'll do that. Um, we'll get our knight statue up. Let's actually max out our inquis just to really push that damage. And uh, and I think we're in a really fantastic spot. So 45 seconds. Already we can see that I'm not going to be able to use my trainer nearly as much as I want. I'm going to try and use him on uh, assassin just to make sure that we don't get... Take, take a hit right there. Have him rank my stuff down. I don't want any of that. Um, so we'll just do that right now. I'm going to do that right now. I thought that was going to be an upgrade, but I was wrong. 24 seconds. He's starting to lose a little bit of traction, just like I was talking about. Another, another Dryad is fine. Let's just wait for now. Eat that Chemist right there. Level up that guy right there. That's super great. And uh, we're going to do our Knight Statue followed by our chemist and you can see how much of a difference it makes having just a slightly higher knight statue and a slightly higher chemist they really do pack the damage in once you get that so let's not take a hit okay we did not take a hit let's do that i'm gonna do this we just need one more scrapper ring see he's eliminating things off his, his units i don't want anything to do with that uh so we really wanted to take that out as soon as possible another assassin and I think one of our goals by the end of this uh, wave is going to be to have a max knight statue, maybe even a max chemist. We only need one more scrapper ring to, uh, to get a boost. So we did get a chemist there, which obviously isn't exactly what I wanted. But let's do our chemist, follow it up with a mana level upgrade. Maybe even do our knight statue right now because I feel like that rank 5 is just not doing the trick right now. Uh, so we're going to try to push the damage here and really avoid that assassin when that guy comes down. So 24 seconds. We're not going to be able to get another scrapper upgrade, but we might be able to eat a couple of units just to get us a little bit closer. And we're going to be coming into a decision here on whether or not we want to use our knights. Our, uh, I think we're going to use our tamer here or trainer here. And try and push, work back towards our portal just a little bit. Rather than use him when we actually... It's kind of a bummer. 1.3. See, this could be pretty bad. <sighs> okay. We lucked out there. We have all our stuff at max. So I'm actually just going to do... Uh, I was going to do this, but I'm actually going to hold off for right now. This is a little bit scary, okay? We're going to need to build up a little bit of mana here. Just to get back to a rank 1 scrapper. And then uh, we're going to have to continue to try and get this guy to 6 and 7, which is kind of a long way away. A rank 5 is great, but it's not nearly enough. I'm just happy that he's getting hit left and right by all these different uh, bosses, which is really bad for him. Eliminating different things all throughout. Another assassin. Let's see if we... I don't know. This wave could be scary. I don't really know what this wave is going to be all about. I almost want to go for four quizzes just for the sake of it. 50 seconds. Okay, we actually can drop this now, and we should be able to get back to it. So maybe that helped a little bit, maybe not. But as long as we're just pushing the damage a lot, I think we'll be okay. A couple of vortexes here. That's a second vortex. I don't think he wants to see vortexes because it's really speeding up everything on his board, and that could be his downfall. That Vortex really trying to get to the end of the board, and he did take a hit there. A third Vortex in a row. This guy is not happy with his RNG. Uh, and three Assassins in a row. I don't even know if that's, like, terrible, terrible, terrible. But uh, it definitely didn't work out for him. So let's hit him with a good game. Check out the damage, because why not? We ended up doing $40 million. He did $30 million with his Bruiser. 
Kind of a cool looking deck. I did, definitely wouldn't recommend it. But right there, guys, a little bit of an Inquisitor boost. And we're winning with one Inquisitor. So if you can win with one, pretty sure you could win with, with four. But guys, that's going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out in tomorrow's video.